the history of how this was the railroad line that ran through the town and you know we made it into a walking trail. I thought that would be really great to provide the scenery in the background to show that you know the rail kind of coming off of the foreground and going back and you know forming a trail. I, I tried finding a, a decent font. You know, I was thinking about doing some sort of a graffiti style font, but I wanted to make sure that the you know the uh, community would be able to read it. You know, and um, so I, I found I found a font that I thought would look nice. And um, and you know, it's weird. Like a lot of it's planned out, but then a lot of it we just go with the flow when we're actually at the wall. So there's portions of this that weren't even thought of. You know, and then certain parts that are. That's usually what happens with a lot of the murals that that we do. I thought it would be something new to try. And. Uh... We uh, found Ryan, a teacher from another uh, mural that he did in town, I think, in Apple Harvest Mall. We got in contact with him and, uh, you know, he told us about this class, thought it would be a good thing for uh, teens uh, around Huntington to do. The best part of it would be definitely the painting, because, I mean, we got to go out and paint this huge legal mural, which we wouldn't have the opportunity to do a lot. It's pretty fun, too. I mean, we learned a lot of case control techniques, like, uh, like that. Yeah. It's a good learning experience. We're both taking art next year, so could apply some of the drawing techniques that we learned there.